This is a question set video number 5 on the chapter simplification and we'll be doing some 5 to 6 word problems in this video. Let's get started with the first question. A sum of rupees 1360 has been divided among A, B and C such that A gets two third of what B gets and B gets one fourth of what C gets. So what is B's share? Let us consider that C gets X rupees from the total of 1360. It is written that B gets one fourth of what C gets. So B gets one fourth of X. A gets two third of what B gets. So B gets one fourth of X. So A gets two thirds of one fourth of X. One fourth of X is the share that B gets. Two twos are four. So we have one by six of X. So we know A, B and C share in terms of X and we have been given the total sum which is 1360. So if we add all these shares of A, B and C, we would get 1360. So it is 1 by 6X plus B's share is 1 fourth of X and C's share is X. If you add all of these, you get 1360. LCM of 4 and 6 is 12, so in the denominator we have 12. 6 times 2 is 12, so we have 2x plus 4 times 3 is 12, so we have 3x plus 12 times 1 is 12, so we have 12x equals to 1360. So this becomes 17 by 12x is equal to 1360. So this 12 can go up and 17 can do, go down. So we can write x is equal to 1360 times 12 divided by 17. If you solve this, 17 times 80 is 1360. So therefore we get the value of x as 80 times 12. Let's keep it as it is because we don't want the value of x because that is not asked. What is asked is b's share. x is the share that c gets. So b's share is one fourth of what C gets. So we will have to calculate one fourth of X. So B's share is X by 4, which is 80 times 12 by 4. So 4, 3's are 12. So this is 80 times 3. So it is 240. Therefore, the answer to this question is 240. Let us move on to question number two. An institute organized a competition and one eighth of boys and one fifth of girls took part in that competition. So the question is what fraction of total students took part? So what is asked is the fraction of total students that took part in the competition. So the data is adequate in this question because we have been given the fraction of boys and the fraction of girls that took part. So the fraction of boys is 1 eighth and the fraction of girls is 1 fifth. So if I write them literally, I can write it as one boy out of eight boys took part. And for girls, it is one girl out of five girls because one fifth of the girls took part. Therefore, if I add the number of boys and girls, 8 plus 5 is 13. So if we consider the number of boys as 8 and the number of girls as 5, it would come out as 13 students who were there. And out of those 13 students, only 2 students took part. One boy and one girl. So we have it 2 students out of 13 students who took part in the competition. So our answer is option B. This is the third question. A sum of 312 rupees was divided among 100 boys and girls in such a way that each boy gets 3.6 rupees and each girl gets 2.4 rupees. So what is the number of girls? So let us consider that the number of boys is X and the number of girls is Y. So the total number of people here are 100. We have 100 boys and girls. So if the number of boys is x and the number of girls is y, then x plus y is equal to 100. And we have been given the sum 
that is distributed among these boys and girls. So this sum is distributed in such a way that each boy gets 3.6 rupees. So the total sum of boys is 3.6x, the number of boys into the sum each boy gets. And the total sum of girls is 2.4 times y. And if you add the amount the boys get and the amount the girls get, you get the total sum of rupees that were divided. So this is equal to 312. Now this is a case of simultaneous equations. You have two equations, 1 and 2. You have to solve it for x and y. So how do you solve this simultaneous equation? Let us remove x. So to remove x, you should have 3.6x in equation 1. So let us multiply equation 1 by 3.6 and subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So if you multiply equation 1 by 3.6, so this becomes 3.6x, this becomes 3.6y, and this becomes 3.6 times 100 is 360. Let us subtract it. So 3.6x minus 3.6x is 0. 3.6y minus 2.4y is 1.2y, and this is equal to 360 minus 312 is 48. Therefore, y is equal to 48 by 1.2. This is equal to 480 by 12. And this is equal to 40. So the answer is option A. Let us move on to question number 4. A total of 324 coins of 20 pesa and 25 pesa make a sum of 71 rupees. So how many number of 20 pesa coins are there? So let us consider the number of coins of 20 pesa and the number of coins of 25 pesa as x and y. So we have 20 pesa as x and 25 pesa as y. Mind that these are the number of coins. Next, from the given data, we know that the total number of coins is 324. So x plus y is equal to 324. Next, we have x number of coins of 20 pesa and y number of coins of 25 pesa make a sum of 71 rupees. So 20x plus 25y is equal to 71 rupees. But we have to multiply it by 100 because we are dealing with pesa throughout. So the total sum is 71 rupees and the coins which make 71 rupees are x coins of 20 pesa and y coins of 25 pesa. So again we have two simultaneous equations 1 and 2. We have to solve this equation to get the value of x and y. So it has been asked the number of 20 pesa coins. So the number of 20 pesa coins is x. So let us keep x and remove y. So to remove y we need to multiply this equation 1 by 25. So let's do that. This becomes 25x plus 25y is equal to 324 times 25. Let's not multiply it. Then we will have to subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So this becomes minus 25x minus 20x is 5x. This is also minus. This gets cancelled out. Is equal to 324 times 25. We have 324 times 25 minus 71 times 100. So x is equal to 324 times 25 minus 71 times 100 divided by 5. And again this is equal to 324 times 25. We can split 5 here minus 71 times 100 by 5. So 5 fives are 25. 5 times 20 is 100. Then this is equal to 324 times 5 is 1620 minus 71 times 20 is 1420. This is equal to 200. So the value of x is 200, which means that the number of 20 pesa coins that make a sum of 71 rupees along with 25 pesa coins is 200. Let us do the last question now. In a group of buffaloes and ducks, 
this should be k ducks the number of legs are 24 more than twice the number of heads what is the total number of buffaloes firstly you should know that a buffalo has four legs and a duck has two legs let us assume that the number of buffaloes is b and the number of ducks is d now the total number of legs in this group are we have b number of buffaloes and a buffalo has four legs so we can write 4b plus we have d number of ducks and a duck has two legs so plus 2d then the number of heads means the total number of animals in this group so the number of heads is equal to b plus d because there are b buffaloes and d ducks this is b plus d now we have to find b because it is asked that what is the total number of buffaloes so the data that is given to us is that the number of legs are 24 more than twice the number of heads so the total number of legs which is equals to 4b plus 2d is equal to 24 more than the twice the number of heads so 24 more than twice the number of heads which is this b plus d now we can solve this for b because we want to find b so 4b plus 2d is equal to 24 plus 2b plus 2d this 2d and this 2d gets cancelled out what remains is 4b minus 2b this 2b gets to the left of equals to is equal to 24 now 4b minus 2b is 2b which is equal to 24 therefore b is equal to 12 24 by 2 is 12 so the number of buffaloes is 12